Well, I think the Staple Hill is very special, really, because of the people who live here. Um, there are people from all groups in the community, all ages, all races, and they all have a great deal to offer. And many of these people have helped to improve Staple Hill already by working on projects to improve the environment, the lives of the people generally. But there are so many more out there who are all very, very keen on, on Staple Hill. They love Staple Hill because the facilities are close by. They love the shopping centre. And I think these people have so much to offer that if we could engage them more uh, in working with our groups, they would have that sense of ownership, and I think many of our problems would disappear and there would be great improvements. In the whole, Staple Hill is a very lovely place, lots of shops, cater for disabled people, you know, because of course I'm in a wheelchair, so I enjoy coming here. The Regeneration Partnership was formed some years ago by some real active members of the community and including our local councillors. And so it represents uh, part of the South Gloss Council. Uh, we also have the NHS who are represented very well. All sorts of different community groups, the Salvation Army and different churches in the area represent faith groups. Uh, we have youth workers attend, the police often attend, so it's open to anyone to attend. I often start the Regeneration Partnership meetings by trying to explain a bit about what I see our role should be and what our aspiration should be. You see a lot of communities who are regenerated and are gentrified, which often exclude the long-standing members of the community, and so we're not after that. We're looking to ensure that Staple Hill maintains a vibrancy about it. It's also a sustainable community that allows for a mix of housing, a mix of jobs, uh, leisure facilities, and, and, and that's very important to us. We want it to be as an inclusive uh, community as possible. Our place was set up actually to serve the whole community of Staple Hill. The people on the estate use it regularly. They have their luncheon parties, um, they have their various meetings there, handicraft classes, health classes. Some people from Staple Hill are now beginning to come in, but I really think we need to reach out more to the people of Staple Hill. We're setting up a website there for the whole of Staple Hill, and all the community groups become involved in that. I love coming here on, more so on a Monday, because I'm here all day. On the afternoon we have an art class and so <laughs> personally I live alone and from coming down here I've met so many people and you get to know people and you see them up the road and people you've never known, you, you find you've, you've got new friends. The newest, newest facility in Staple Hill is our library. We all breathed a sigh of relief when we learned that the new library was going to be built. Eight years we campaigned. We were felt like children at Christmas, pressing our noses against the window and looking at the sweets we couldn't have. And the library is a lovely building now. It's got all the modern facilities, uh, plenty of activities for, for the local people to engage in. Page Park is the jewel in the crown. It was donated by Alderman Page many years ago, and it has many, many facilities. It was becoming very run-down in the 90s, and so we set up the Friends at Page Park, and they have done some really wonderful work. They set up the Sensory Garden for people with disability. They helped to extend the play area. We are having new teenage equipment coming into the park now, resurfacing of the tennis court, um, all sorts of extra activities. The most exciting time is going to be July the 10th when we celebrate the 100th year anniversary of Page Park. Uh, catering for the youth of Staple Hill is something that is very important to all the members of the Regeneration Partnership. Though we don't have a dedicated youth centre, there are, there's lots of provision for the young in the area. Uh, we have youth workers that work in the area and the churches do a, a, a great deal offering youth clubs and uh, all sorts of community facilities that they offer. 
Um, I like it because like it has lots of um, activities to do, like Bouncy Castle sometimes comes out and like all my friends come here, so unless it's like something to do on a, like, a Friday night instead of being home and like doing nothing when you can be here and having lots of fun with your friends. Um, the schools also uh, are, are working hard in the community. They, they have a special, specially trained teams of Morris dancers, which we had trained. They took part in Christmas on the Hill. And they are working with us in all sorts of other projects. And of course, we've got the new school that Shirley has done a great deal of campaigning to uh, secure, which is going to be built over the next few years, uh, which is going to be a much needed resource. And more impo and as important as that, I was congratulated yesterday because we are retaining the old school building, one, hey, of, well <laughs> one of the few older buildings in Stape Hill, and they will accommodate the nursery and the Shore Start Centre. So that was a great victory for us because we Fantastic. didn't want to lose that. Fantastic news. Mm -hmm.